Well, Tiger Woods in the spotlight today, opening up this final round. This was his first hole of the day, so he finds the fairway bunker. And this is when you had a feeling it might be something special from Tiger Woods. Yeah, eight feet right behind the hole, Brian, and that putt coming down the hill. And here's that birdie putt. Give himself a good look to oh. immediately get to nine under, and it lips out, so a par at his opening hole of his final round. He started four shots back of Brooks Kepka. So then he arrives to the second. He's played these first three holes so well. Flirted with the pond here on his tee shot. Looking to be in that little step cut of rough. Oh, perfectly judged right there. By the Three way, and a half feet. Note the theme here. Two holes, two missed fairways. That would be a theme that would continue, but Tiger Woods for birdie at the second to get him to minus nine, his first birdie of the day. And suddenly three back of the lead. Then at the third, at the par three, his tee shot. This is when things got fun. Par three third playing at 154 yards. Dead aim. How about the pitch mark being a foot from the hole? Little more than a tap here for Tiger Woods for back to back birdies to get him to minus 10. And the massive galleries following Tiger Woods. Moving on with him. He parred the fourth hole, then at the fifth, again missing the fairway. And the route to the green here was a wild one for Tiger Woods. Had to take a nine iron up and over the trees, tried to hook it around them. But underneath the putting surface, you can see pretty decent lie. And this was textbook right here. Had a terrific par save at four, and he does the same at the fifth. Looked like he was buried off the tee. Still hasn't hit a fairway yet at this point. And yet, he is at minus nine. Went with the driver. Didn't like it immediately. Yeah. That one winds up to the left. And actually another pretty good break. Cruising on down the card path into the trample down area. This is second shot at the par five eighth and an absolute rocket through the trees. And rolls all the way down into the bunker. He's there in two. Can Tiger Woods pull another rabbit out of his hat here at this par five? Well, he's been fortunate, but uh... This was a pretty simple bunker shot. Good lie, going back up the hill. No problem. You know he can. Made it easy on himself. Ended up with a four, a birdie at the eighth. So that's his third birdie of the day. He's at minus 10 now, and this is his approach. Another missed fairway, but his second at the ninth. Got a great break. It was up against the card path. He was able to get relief, dropped it twice. Then he was able to place it. Then the execution was perfect. 0 for 7 fairways hit on his opening nine, and yet a chance at his fourth birdie of the day. Turn it at 32, three under par for Tiger Woods on his opening nine. Four birdies, one bogey, got it to minus 11 at that point, was just two back. After a par at 10, here at the 11th, had a birdie at the short par four. Well, he opted to lay up, which I thought was a good move since he's only hit one fairway up to this point and left it a turn short for birdie. Had to settle for par at the 11. So back to back pars kept him at minus 11. And at this point, still two back of Brooks Kepka. All right, then the 12th, the par four. This is his approach. He finally hits the fairway. And with a 140 cool left. Shot. Yeah, such a cool shot right here. Up three and a half feet. Had a little bit of weight while they repaired the cup. And then brushes it in. Fifth birdie of the day for Woods to minus 12. Next hole, part three, 13th. 188 yards. Just kind of muscling one in there. And this was so aggressive. Trying to fit it just over that ridge. And welcome to the party. And the Tiger Roar rattling 
Bell Reeve all day long. The Hawkeye technology shows you the line, and Tiger was right on it. Raise the flag. A birdie at 13. His sixth birdie of the day. Back to back birdies at 12 and 13. Got him to minus 13 and a shot back. Then it to 14th, Billy. This was his third at the par four. Well, trying to take the ridge out of play. I think he was fooled on this. I think he executed the shot pretty close to what he wanted to. And you can see the frustration right there. He thought there was going to be a little bit of a run out. But Brian, this was an excellent putt right here. High line that caught a lot of the cup and didn't go. Who knows where it ends up if that one goes. So a bogey at 14. Only a second bogey of the day. Now he's at minus 12. And then Tiger Woods at the difficult par 4 15th. His approach from this the is, fairway. This is a nine iron. And it is high. And then the eyes, you can see, just staring it down. Tap in. One of his best approaches of the day. A birdie for Woods at 15 to 13 under par. Five under for his round. Then at 16, looking at a chance at birdie. Could Long not, three. You could not believe how quiet it was and the disappointment of not hitting it firmly enough. Settles for the three at the difficult par three, 16th. Arrives at 17, needing a drive in the fairway. Now trying to hit the hard fade. And way too much left to right. And at that point, we had no idea where the golf ball was. And you're thinking at best that's in the hazard, in the creek. That's a drop. We've seen it happen throughout the week. But he got a great break on the other side of that creek. And ball's about a quarter embedded. You can see right here, awkward stance, just trying to chunk it back into the fairway. Nicely gets, done. Gets himself back in play. So there in two and then ended up with this for par at the 17th and this was a big time putt to keep himself in the picture. Got it up and down out of the bunker. Escapes with a five at the par five 17th. Now at 18 the lid lifter for Tiger Woods finishing with a bang. Six under, 64. 14 under par for the championship. No matter the result, it'll be his first top five in a major since the Masters in 2013. When he finished fourth, now he will